I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you to maximize the circumscribed triangle area. The question is find the smallest possible area of an isosceles triangle that is circumscribed about a circle of radius r. So I made the diagram for you. r is the radius of this circle and that's the isosceles triangle. You need to find the smallest possible area of this triangle. So to solve this question, let us say uh, the height of the triangle is x. So we'll assume this height to be from here to here as x. So that is the height for us, correct? Now, as we know that this is the radius, right? So that much is the radius. So x minus r is going to be, let me just say, see this height. So this much is the radius, so x minus r, we can write this, x minus r is from the vertex to the center of the circle will be x minus r. That is to say this dimension is x minus r. So let me label this so this becomes easier for us to communicate. So we have a triangle which is ABC with center at O. So AO is x minus r, right? Now let us say this is tangential to the side and we call this point as E and the midpoint here D. Right? This is going to be midpoint since this is an isosceles triangle. right? So that is how it is. Now in this particular case AO, AO is X minus R. We can find what AE is. So AE now this is right angle triangle, so AE, that's the hypotenuse, will be square of X minus R minus R square. So square root of square of X minus R minus R square, So which we can calculate. So if you calculate this, we'll get square root of X square minus 2XR plus R square minus R square, and that is equals to square root of r square minus x square 0, so 2x square minus 2xr, right? So that is AE for us, correct? So we found AE from this particular triangle. Now we'll analyze two particular triangles which are similar for us. And these triangles are triangles ADC, the big triangle. Consider the triangle ADC with 90 degrees here. And the triangle AEO and the triangle A. E O. In these triangles, what you notice is both have one right angle and a common angle A. So because of, uh, they are similar because of angle-angle property. So if two angles are similar, then these two triangles are similar. So once the triangles are similar, you can write ratio of their sides are proportional. So we have Y, let this side be Y for us, DC, which is let this be y for us, right? So, so we have y over x, which is dc, right? So y over x, which is height, correct? So area is half of base times height. So these are these two dimensions. Now that side in a big triangle is opposite to angle A. So in this small triangle, the side opposite to angle A is R. So we'll write this as R over x. Now x is opposite to c. Do you see that? So the side opposite to that angle, these two angles are equal, is AE and AE we simplified and wrote as x square minus 2xr. That was the whole idea of writing this. Right? I hope now we can relate yx with r the radius. Right? Now what is the area of a triangle? Area of triangle is half of base, half of base which is BC, which is Y in our case, right? Half of BC times height which is AD. So half of BC is Y for us. We are taking this as Y, DC, right? So it is Y times AD is X for us. So the area is Y times X for us, correct? So you could write BC as 2 times Y also 
and then half will be just y right so area is y times x for us so x y is the area now in this particular equation we can write from here y in terms of x and r r is fixed right so we can say area is equals to instead of y i'm writing r over square root of x square minus 2xr times x to get the idea so in this particular equation area is a function of x the height of the triangle correct now to find the minimum area what we can do is Oh, we have to multiply okay so times x times this x so it becomes times x x square so y is r times x over all this r times x over all this times x right so we get r x square over all this as the area so what we get here is area as a function of the height x is r x square divided by square root of x square minus 2xr so that is how you get uh, the ratio where r is constant is given right and is constant so we have one variable here to maximize or to minimize the area we need to find derivative so let's find the derivative of this function with respect to x so we'll apply the quotient rule so where denominator square will be x square minus 2xr derivative of numerator is 2xr so we can write 2xr times the denominator which is square root of x square minus 2xr minus derivative of the denominator times the numerator so it is rx square times derivative of this is half of this to the power of minus half so we can write square root of x square minus 2xr times derivative of inside term which is 2x minus 2r so that is how we can get the derivative of the numerator right so so that is so 2 and 2 will cancel we can simplify this a bit once you simplify this expression what you get is rx square times x minus 3r so i'm not doing this calculation i like you to do this calculation and in the denominator we'll get x square minus 2xr to the power of 3 over 2. Now this thing comes in the denominator so this is half right half plus 1 is 3 over 2 that is how you get it when you cross multiply the square root square root gets cancelled off kind of square so it is 2xr times x square minus 2xr on the left side and on the right side it is rx square times x minus r so when you do all the math you'll get this as an expression now the idea is to find the smallest possible area you need to find the critical point so equate this to zero so once you equate this to zero we have two possible solutions one is x is equal to zero the other one is x equals to 3r right so x is three times r is the other solution so to you can find the critical point from here so we say critical point is critical number is when this is 0 that is x is equals to 3r right so that is how you can find the critical number correct now at this stage you can prove that this critical number is minimum by finding either the second derivative or by testing the rate of change of area by checking a value on the vicinity of 3r so what we can do is we can just test whether this is maximum or minimum so analyze the area itself so we'll analyze area the rate of change of area around the point which is the critical number 3r so let's take a value which is 4r here and let us say 2r which is less than 3r right so if you substitute 2r here what do you get this is a negative value so you get negative so therefore the rate of change will be negative if you substitute 4r here then that is going to be positive so that clearly indicates that x equals to 3r gives you minimum 
courage. So it is important to show why this critical number results into minimum, right? So that is how you get x equals to 3r as the minimum. Once you know x is 3r, r the radius of the circle is given to you, you know the dimensions, correct? So y value you can find by substituting x equals to 3r, correct? In this particular expression. So, so you can say y is equals to r times 3r. So we say r times 3r divided by square root of 3r square. So we'll say 9r square minus 3r 3 times 2 is 6, 6r square. So that is the y value. So which is 3r square divided by 9 minus 6 is 3r square, square root. So square root of 3r square. Right. So, so that is what you get as your y value. So which is indeed equals to, so r as so the square root of 3 times r. So that becomes the y value for your triangle, correct? So therefore, we can now write down the answer as the dimensions of the triangle should be base equals to 2 times y, 2 times y. Do you see 2 times y, which is, because that is y is half the base, right? 2 times y will give you 6, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, 2r square root 3 as the base and height as equals to 3 times r, 3 times r. So that becomes the, the dimension which you are looking for, right? So square root 3 and the area will be half base into height. Find the smallest possible area as your question. So when you multiply, you get area as equal to y times r. You can multiply y and r. Once you do that, you will get your answer as 3 square root 3 r square, right? Half base into height. So that is how you have to solve this particular question, correct? So the it is possible area. I have also given you the dimension. You can substitute this value in the expression here and find the minimum possible area, correct? So that is how it should be done. I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.